The Exorcist 3 as a 1990 psychological horror film directed and written by William Peter Blatty based on Legion by William Peter Blatty. Now, if you remember that name, that is the same man who wrote the screenplay for The Exorcist. Now, this film takes place 15 years after the events of the first film, where the film follows a character named by William Kinderman, Detective or Lieutenant William Kinderman. In that film, he was played by Lee J. Cobb. In this one, he's played by George C. Scott. And over the while, he investigates a series of murders in Georgetown who have kind of the hallmark of the Gemini, kind of a deceased serial killer, but is still killing. The Blatty kind of said that his inspiration for the Gemini killer was the Zodiac killer who in some instances where it's been said that the Zodiac Killer, one of his favorite movies was The Exorcist. Um, Blatty wrote the 1971 novel and the screenplay and conceived this idea for The Exorcist with William Friedkin set to return to direct. But Friedkin left the project and Blatty kind of adapted the screenplay or the script into the novel The Legion. And Morgan Creek Productions brought the film rights, but then Blatty as director, and kind of the studio made last minute changes, adding an exorcism scene and wanting it to be the actual kind of air sequel to The Exorcist. Um, there are some director's cuts out there that was released in 2016, but this film was released in August of 1990, has a runtime of 110 minutes, had a budget of $11 million and grossed $44 million at the box office. Now, during the 80s, George C. Scott was big and was an Oscar winner by then and he started to star in horror films. George C. Scott starring in horror films made the, his trajectory of a filmography even better. He had, did The Changeling, he did The Exorcist 3, but the way he acts is absolutely interesting because not only that, we have Jason Miller, Father Karras come in and play the same role he played, but he is possessed now. The aspect of the demonic possession is not what it seems. It's very different, but it's a fun third film. This is a great, great film. It has a notoriety for having a cult following, and rightfully so. 1990, when this film came out, like, okay, a third exorcist film that takes place 15 years after the events of the first one, ignoring the events of the second film, no mention of it, except only maybe once when we kind of see that um, the possession of the demon was masterminded by one demon and all the aspect of how everything happens it's really fun and interesting now if lee j cobb didn't pass away in the 70s or the early 80s i believe when he did uh, i feel like he would have definitely started in this but seeing george c scott take over that role as kinderman was interesting and fun what a different dynamic there is one of the biggest jump scares ever in a horror film and it takes place in this movie and you have to see it to believe it and you really don't expect it i'm pretty sure that and how the edit was done was just so good and pristine that horror films are known for their interesting edits and imagery and william peter blatty is a phenomenal director and he is really really good sadly he passed away in january uh, 2017 at the age of 89 so he had a stellar stellar career especially in horror but for this, this is not really a horror movie. It's more psychological for that matter. And the ending exorcism scene, absolutely crazy and mind-blowing. Seeing George C. Scott do some of the stuff that is in this film is great. The cinematography is phenomenal and wonderful. This is a better movie than the second film. And for it being based on the 1983 novel Legion, like that's really, really interesting. Check out Legion or read Legion if you haven't. It's really fun. Some of the aspects, like I said, are taken from that book and in here, but also thrown in with the aspect of having Kinderman kind of investigate certain deaths about certain serial killers. This is a serial killer meets a possession movie. Put it in a blender, you get The Exorcist 3. From start to finish, it's great. It's a quick watch. It's not a long, long movie. I mean, there were mixed reviews when this film came out being this is great, not needed, but whatever it is, it's fun, especially among the horror community, and it's absolutely mind-blowing. There, The thing that really makes the movie is the acting by George C. Scott, seeing Jason Miller come back as Damian Karras, William Peter Blatty's directing, and even his writing. It's tremendous. It's absolutely wonderful. For me, The Exorcist 3 gets four out of five stars. 
Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about The Exorcist 3. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What did you think about the aspect of the story? Did you like it that it was set 15 years later and focused on Lieutenant Kinderman, the character that Lee J. Cobb played in the original film? And did you like that this had no mention of the second movie, maybe only minutely? What did you think of William Peter Blatty's directing and writing? Do you think that he did one better than the other? And how do you think this movie fares now in today's time? Or do you think it's just right? And do you think that it has gained a cult following? And do you think that one scene is the scariest scene or jump scare in a horror movie of all time? Let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked. And also let me know what rating you would give The Exorcist 3. And be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel. I will see you all in the next review video. And thank you so much for tuning in.